Oh, GM, I don't even know where to start with this one. All right, so if you follow Corvette at all, especially with CA, you probably saw today that GM came out and announced that they're going to release an E-Ray. They didn't call it an E-Ray, but they said a hybrid version, all-wheel drive on the snow. In case you missed it, here's a quick clip. And then afterwards, there was an interview with uh, GM president, Mark something, I don't know, Mark, that guy, pretty much said, we're going to get an iteration of the hybrid like you saw, and a full electric C8 Corvette, great. Um, and I, I have no problem going fully electric Corvette. It's a natural progression, p politics involved, et cetera, et cetera. Everything is going to be electric eventually. I know that. I was hoping it would be exclusively just for a C9, but it looks like we're going to see a C8 all-electric iteration. Okay, fine. Uh, my problem is that I'm, I've been waiting for my C8 Stingray uh, for nine months now, and I probably still have another four, maybe five months to wait. Uh, the base model, which we're going through our fourth model year, uh, can't keep up with the demand. Typically, in Corvette fashion, the inauguration year will be your base, and your second year you'll get... A convertible and high performance model like they've been doing since uh, C6. We're approaching fourth model year just next month and people still can't get a base model Stingray. They haven't released the prices yet for the Z06 and now they're getting the carriage way in front of the horses talking about an E-Ray, an all-electric. They haven't even mentioned the Zora or Zero One yet but imagine that's all also in the works. I don't know. Uh, it's just frustrating. If you watch South Park, that reminds me a lot of the Game of Thrones episode when he keeps, you know, they keep referring to the dragons. Oh, they're coming. They're on their way. They're still coming. Oh, they're coming, you know, as far as, the, you know, the Z06 and whatever else they're going to make. It just, I, I'm just frustrated when I saw that news today. Um, I'm like, come on, guys, let's just focus on one thing. At this point, I'm like, all right, let's just focus on making... A C8 Stingray and then maybe an E-Ray because it's the same motor and just throw electric in the front, you got the wide body. It seems like the Z06 is going to be such a unique endeavor for Corvette uh, with the flat plane, which I think is amazing just given their supply chain uh, constraints right now, given the way the world is. It's just maybe it's best off focus on just one or two models. Let's get those caught up first, you know. And not to mention, geez, an all-electric C8, will there even be a demand for it? People even give a shit. From what I see, people don't want an all-electric Corvette. It'll still look cool, it just won't sound cool. And, you know, I, I love Corvette because the noise it makes when you hit the gas. It's fun. Uh, will there be a want for an all-electric? I have no idea. Could this bite him in the ass? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, this is just kind of me venting. I was just so, so thrown off by this, because yesterday I was thinking, like, man, they need to release the price on the Z06. This is crazy. They haven't, they haven't released the price yet. And it's supposed to go in production just a few months. It's supposed to. But maybe this is their way of getting people's attention off the Z06. I don't know. But, yeah, I thought it was crazy. I, I kind of want to hear all thoughts on this, too. Uh, I mean, again, I'm just frustrated. I've been waiting on a Stingray. You know, the car's been out almost three years. I'll be getting a fourth model year, and they still can't deliver one yet. And they're talking about, you know, three or four different trims coming out in the future. Who knows when? You know what I mean? It's silliness. Uh, it's a first world problem. I understand that. I mean, I'm more than happy with my C5Z behind me. Amazing car. I mean, the market for a Corvette C5Z, amazing. But, um, yeah, that's my little rant I just wanted to talk about. Come on, GM. What are we doing? You know? It's almost laughable. Uh, the delay on the C8. It's, it's funny, even. There you go. Well, while I have it here, what else is going on? My wheel turned out amazing if you follow the channel. Uh, I did something with my transmission. I put an additive in it that's completely transformed how this thing drives in a good way. I'm not one for selling snake oil. The only thing I believe in that you buy off the shelf is Tecron, and I think I found something else which made my six speed. 
T56 shift amazing. It's been two weeks now, so I'm not trying to get too excited. Uh, I might do a video on this in the next couple days, but this product I used, which is sworn by Mini Cooper owners on the forums, um, that if you're not using this in your, in your gearbox, I don't know what you're doing. My gearbox was having some issues, and I, I'm going to do a rebuild, so I thought, you know, I'll try this. Blow it away. Some kind of witchcraft. And I'll touch on what I'm talking about in the next couple days. But, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to talk about the C8 electrics that are coming. But how, And real quick, I do like the idea of the E-Ray with the hybrid technology. That's kind of cool. You still get the fun sound of the, uh, the push rod V8 and the reliability with front wheel drive. It's going to give you crazy launches. And if you're living in a cold climate, you can drive it all year long with some all-season tires, which is pretty freaking cool. So... Yeah, definitely the, the Stingray, Z06, even the E-Ray, awesome, all electric, I don't know, I don't know, but it is what it is. Alright, rant is over, and I'll catch you guys again this week, hopefully for some more fun Corvette content, that's I gotta paint the other wheel, but I'll get to that when I get to that, I'm tired, I need to edit this and go to bed, I will catch you guys hopefully by Friday, mark out.